time for my nine month old update. Hey guys, so I might have to do this pretty quickly because Andy's at an age now where she doesn't want to sit still. <laughs> so this might not go over too well if we do this, you know, kind of long. I'm trying to occupy her with this egg. <laughs> Let's see how long this lasts. So as far as height and weight for Miss Andy, I'm not sure because <laughs> we don't have an appointment until the end of the month or somewhere near the end, but it's before Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving's the last Thursday of November. Oh, she dropped it. And her appointment, I think it's the 22nd. If I had to guess though, I would say she's at least 20 pounds, if not 19. But she's somewhere in there because she wears very well 12 month clothes. Milestones this month include feeding herself, finally. We were going to do baby lead weaning, but she was not interested in feeding herself at 6 months old. Or 7 months old. She didn't like do this grasp until very recently. So we're finally table feeding, finger feeding. I'm so happy because now mommy doesn't have to buy baby food. Yay! <laughs> and the other milestone that she's hit very recently, if you watch the Hurt at School vlog and my videos, then you already have like seen this. But she recently learned how to pull herself up. The only word that she still says is da da. That's it. Everything is da da da. Can you say it? Can you say it for them? Can you tell everybody your favorite word right now? You don't want to? <laughs> She's like, you took the egg out of my mouth. I don't want to do anything for you. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> She's now big enough that I can give her a bath with her sisters. So this is like super easy for me. I can just throw all three kids into the bathtub, clean them all three at once, and boom, we're done. Oh, that is so much easier than having to bathe Carly and Kenley first and then Andy. And it's just a longer process, I guess. <laughs> but I'm really happy about that. Nine months old, still only has her front bottom teeth. That's it. My children, all of them, have been really slow teethers. So this isn't like a shock to me. <laughs> like at all because my sister-in-law was like oh all my kids got all of their teeth before they were like a year old it was something like that and I was like oh my gosh really even they're like two-year-old molars and everything she was like oh yeah they're their whole teeth all of it I was like wow that's that's great because my kids are slow like really slow we finally got her a teething necklace this month I feel kind of bad that I didn't know about them when we had Carly, but Kinley has had one since she was like three or four months old, something like that, and Andy just got one. I'm a big believer in these amber necklaces. I think they help a lot. When she was cutting her bottom two teeth, she was, you know, fussy a lot and, you know, like typical kind of teething behaviors. I'm curious to see how she'll react when her front to come through because it looks like it's about to and how the necklace will help because it helped Kenley. Kenley only fussed about her teeth when she was cutting her two-year-old molars and that's about no 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 and her one-year-old. She sleeps all the way through the night from about nine or ten o'clock at night until 8 30 the next morning. She usually has a nap like about now about one o'clock 1 30 so it's almost time for her to go down and then she'll have another nap around like six five or six and then she'll go down for the night, 9 or 10, something like that. Sometimes earlier, sometimes, every now and then, it's like 8 o'clock, but usually like 9 or 10. She got her first cold this month, so she's very mucusy, runny. Hmm. She was like stuffed up and congested until I put a vaporizer in her room yet last night and now she's very runny. So, I mean, at least she's not congested. But her first sickness was this month. She doesn't really have a favorite person yet, like me or dad. She just kind of goes to either one of us. She's very laid back. She's kind of a laid back, whatever kind of kid. She reminds me a lot of Kenley. Kenley was like the same way. Very laid back, go with the flow, whatever. Except Kenley was very much, and she still kind of is, <laughs> a big mama's girl. I used to tease Devin when Kenley was a baby that she didn't like him because... <laughs> She was just such a big mama's girl, but this one is kind of everybody's girl. She just doesn't really care. Go to anybody. Well, except strangers. She has developed that weariness of strangers, but I mean, 
me and daddy doesn't matter she has a tiny bit of trouble eating she kind of always has when I give her a bottle she always like coughs after a couple of minutes maybe of drinking she'll cough 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 we'll have to wait for her to you know finish coughing wipe off the milk around her face or whatever and then give her her bottle back I don't really know what that is or if I should be concerned I'm gonna bring it up to her pediatrician like just in case but I just, I don't know. She's also a very big thumb sucker. The thumb goes in the mouth a lot <laughs> to the, right now. Okay, like right now. Uh, to the point to where even when we feed her, like when she has her coughing episodes, she want to stick her thumb in her mouth, like after she's done coughing. And then we have to move the thumb. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's down there? What's down there? <laughs> Sorry, she's cracking me up. Anyway, we'll have to remove her thumb and then put the bottle in her mouth and then she'll drink, drink, drink for a couple minutes and then cough, cough, cough. And it's basically that cycle over and over and over again. She is now very interested in what her sisters are doing. Like if they're sitting at the table doing something, she wants to go over there and pull herself up and look at what they're doing and she'll want to like stick her fingers into whatever <laughs> they're eating or whatever it is. She's very interested in what her sisters are doing lately. I jokingly call her my serious child because it takes a lot for her to laugh and then when she does laugh it's not like it goes on for a while she'll like ha 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 and then that'll be pretty much it <laughs> so I lovingly call her my serious child I'm so sorry guys that I forgot to do an outro Andy got really upset and I had to go take care of her kind of like how she's upset right now so I'm gonna do this really quickly so I can go get her thank you guys so much for watching if you want to follow me on social media my links are down below if you want to subscribe to my new channel a link will also be down below and I'll see you guys later in a new vlog bye guys Bye.